Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, we're going to be going over the next event coming to NA, which is Guda Guda Final Hanoji 2021, All Out Nobunaga Assault. It is the 4th out of 5th Guda Guda, so it's not actually the final, which will give us a uh, Nagayo. I don't know how to pronounce your name, unfortunately, Nagayo. Um, who is the free 4-star, who is a single target Lancer, and then we also have Mama Nobu. Um, who is the 5-star, along with some other dudes on her banner, which I'll go over in this video. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, uh, leave a comment. Tell me about how you're feeling about this event. Uh, I'm going to assume a lot of people are skipping. I'm someone who is going to be summoning a very little bit, because uh, I do want to get Mama Nobu, even if she maybe isn't the greatest unit. She is the greatest. She's one of the coolest units, for sure, uh, in my eyes, so I definitely would love to have her. But, what was I going to say? So yeah, leave a comment and subscribe if you want some more videos from me, and leave a like because it helps me out a whole bunch. It helps my, um, if you want to see proof of that, look at the, um, Bride Nero video, which because of you guys did extremely well, so I thank you very much. So this is Guda Guda Final Hanoji, so the first thing that we need to say is that first of all, I'm sorry if I pronounce any of the Japanese words wrong, I just don't know how to say it. And also, scheduled maintenance will start on 619 and it will go into the 20th. That is the official start date. Um, all you need to actually and participate in the event is to clear Fuyuki, which is basically just the tutorial. Um, here's the event summary. This title doesn't make any sense. I don't get it either. What's all out about this one? Uh, if you have time to do a good, good event, then you have time to make a swimsuit Akita. Quit with that crap. So, <laughs> the event itself, you conquer the surrounding territories with your retainer, march forth to unify the nation under your flag. You, the thing you're going to be kind of grinding is Military Rations, Black Powder, t uh, Tatara, Iron, and QP. I guess this is for specific, um, the production part of it, my bad. This is for what you're going to be producing. Um, you clear territory control quest to expand your domain. Expanding your domain to increase supply production capacity, you might want to recruit new retainers. These are the actual things that we will drop from this event, which is Formation Miso, Unbiased Salt, and Rami Thread. Um... Which you can exchange, so those are the regular ones. There's also going to be a Attack Strength CE, which will be 100% and I believe 200% when fully awakened. Um, you can see the Formation Misa, the Unbiased Assault, the Remy Thread, those are the three. Uh, this is the promotional video that I can't look at because I think it causes copyright strikes for me, so I'm not going to be doing that unfortunately. Wish I could. Um, Nage Nageo is extremely easy. There's also a Traveler's Hood for her, which is very good. Uh, the unit itself is a single target arts um, lancer, which is can be very good if you're someone who is looking to start saving a lot for Castoria, and you you want to save a whole lot and don't have a lot of options for arts units. Uh, she's definitely one of them that you can use that is extremely solid for being a free unit. Um, I remember my time in Japan thinking that she was extremely good. So, so after clearing a designated quest. You receive a number of armament items based on your productivity, as you can see here. Um, by using armaments, you could be able to participate in suppression quests, which will reward you with domains the quest is on, thus increasing your overall production. While doing this, you can use event quest NPC servants, which um, you should be using. Uh, so, so yeah, you want to beat these suppression quests. And if you're a new player, you can kind of kind of go like, well, how hard is this event going to be? If you don't use any of these event quest NPCs, the this I'm going to say it's unbeatable for you. But actually using them, it'll be extremely good. So you don't have to worry too much. A lot of them have an extremely amazing uh, effects that you will find out when you start playing. Um, and they will help. You kind of have to use them. It's a little bit more strategic than what you have to kind of think about. Like, oh... Um, I need to use a specific event quest NPC because they are literally built for this fight. Like, one of them is like, um, everyone has guts and everyone has evade, and it's like, well, it's obviously for this fight where it's like non-stop berserker fights, so... Something to keep in mind. It's a very cool event, very easy event, you don't have to worry too much. Here are the event servants, which is, uh, Mamanobu, Kagadora, who have 100% uh, damage up and 50% uh, bond bonus. 5% um, bomb bonus to everyone if you use MASH along with 50% attack. And then the others are Okita, Nobu, uh, Ryu... Ryoma, that's what it is. I don't know why I wanted to say Ryuki, but it's not that. Old Man, Lee, 
uh, I have you, Hijikata. <laughs> Hijikata, and I saw your name. I'm sorry. I call him the Pickle Man because he loves eating pickles. Swimsuit Nobu, um, Okita Alter, Izzo, the new guy who I think is Nagayoshi, and here we have Cha Cha. Uh, for some reason, I wanted to call Cha Cha something else. I also have Cha Cha like Bond 9, and I could not remember her name at that moment. Uh, then we also have Nero, who's on bonus, Emiya, Emiya Alter, um, Lancer Artoria, aka Big Artoria, uh, Kukalin Alter, uh, Alt Atlanta Alter, Setonia, Kukalin Regular, Ushiwamaru, Ushiwakamaru, uh, Medusa, Medea, and Hasana the Cursed Arm. And they get 30%, 20% bond. As opposed to these dudes who get 50%. So the actual Gudagudas get 50%. Everyone else on here gets 30%. And the event cards that you can get from it, which are command codes, you get the Great Fool of Awari, 30% crit damage against divine enemies when attacking using the engraved card, excellent crafted thin blade, ignore invincibility when attacking using the engraved card, immature illusionary command card, uh, when engraved to an arts card, uh, increase star absorption by 100%. Then we got Craft Essence, can't fight on an empty stomach, which again, 100% damage on equipped servants. When it's max limit broken, is 200% for this event. Warlord Rivalry, which is quick and buster, 10%, 40% starting NP, drops plus one of this Ord thing, which is the gold drop. God of War, Arts 8%, NP damage 8%, NP gain 8%, drops the silver material, which is a uh, plus one. And then Oni's Tea Ceremony, critical damage up 5%, healing receive 5%. And of the bronze uh, material, one one up. Okay. Now to look at the actual summon banner, which should be Mamanobu, swimsuit, and new guy. Okay, so Mamanobu, just to kind of quickly get over, I don't have to really go over her skills because this is kind of what this unit is. As the unit is a Buster unit that is anti-divine. Um, as you can see here, her AoE Buster, she's also a Buster, which is very, very unfortunate because you're not going to be fighting a lot of Divine <laughs> AoE units, let alone Rulers, to go with the Avenger class. Um, she's also kind of, she also kind of goes with the Burning Battlefield, which she gives herself, which is very nice. Um, this skill eventually kind of gets buffed up, where she now has bonus damage against sky attribute units when she's affected by the burning battlefield um her main issue here is that she doesn't do anything too good she's just someone who is okay to good she's an okay kind of buster unit she has three buster cards the main problem here is that her skill one kind of takes a while to ramp up and a lot of busters aren't really known for ramping up they're all about let me hit them real quick right now and be done with it. Uh, the other thing is that she's so focused on Divine. Like, this ability right here, removing defensive buffs, is actually very good. Not when it's only against Divine enemies. And that's kind of really the end, the basically end point of this, is that it's really just, kind of just comes down to she's too focused on one specifically being Divine, which is kind of a problem I think most Nobus have, including the Berserker one and the Free one. Um, it just gets a little bit worse because she's an AoE buster that released right after Arjuna Altar, who Arjuna Altar's big, uh, destruction of everything. So if you're looking for an AoE buster unit, you're kind of going to always go with Arjuna Altar. That's just the state of the game. But if you're someone who loves Oda Nobunaga, there is no unit better than this one. Oh my god, they put so much detail into this unit, it's amazing. Like, I love that specific part of it, and that's kind of why the reason why I want to summon, to be honest. I already have units that kind of can beat the end game for me. I want units that I like, and this is one of them. And because it's Guda Guda related, she will always have a bonus during Guda Guda. Um, and that's kind of why I'm summoning for her and hoping to get her. I'm only doing three summons, but hey, I've done better or worse with just three summons, so... That's kind of how I feel about them, is that the truth of the matter is the unit could be better, but I think they're one of the cooler units that's ever been made. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this event specifically because it has them in it. Next, we got the Berserker, which is a swimsuit. Swimsuit units are very hard to get. Single target Berserk, similar to the other Nobu, is a Buster Gorilla. 
Um, gives herself evasion, which is always nice when it comes to uh, Berserkers. The only thing that's bad is that it also is tied to her Buster. Um, so you might end up accidentally using... Not accidentally. There might be situations where you want to get 20% more Buster performance, but you're going to waste your evasion. But, hey. Atsuma beats and gains critical stars every turn. This move is okay. And this move is also... Okay, but only if you're really on a burning battlefield. Um, and similar to the other moves, this eventually gets ranked up. She deals damage to one enemy, 500% chance to grant self burning battlefield, which kind of helps, which is, comes later, and deals extra damage to divine enemies. So when you're single, if you're going for a single target divine enemy kind of destroyer, she's kind of your girl for it. But uh, otherwise, she's just a very basic Buster Gorilla. The other good thing is that if you're a basic Buster Gorilla, congratulations, you can kind of work with Merlin because Merlin loves basic Buster Gorillas. It's just a shame that uh, there are just better single target Berserkers out there, but there's not as many rock in a swimsuit like our girl here, here is, which is why you would want to use her. So, perfectly usable is what I would call it. And then we got Mor Mori Nagoshi. The main thing about him is that he is a limited servant, which means he. Is going to be very hard to summon. So you either get him now or kind of never get him. <laughs> In terms of what he does, the one thing that I think is actually kind of interesting is that he wants to die. Because when he dies, you get an on-death activation bus, which gives you 20 crit stars, which can be pretty good. Um, other than that, he's kind of like, you know, he's a buster unit, but not full gorilla because he has two arts cards. Um, the only thing that's a... It's very interesting because mo the biggest problem with um, Berserkers is that they die. But this one kind of wants to die. So... What can you do about it, man? He does his job extremely well. He looks kind of cool. He kind of looks like what I would describe as cool Choji from Naruto. Imagine Choji, but he was uh, kind of cool. As opposed to, well, I, whatever, I found Choji cool, but not everyone. Cool and with red hair and was a little bit more um, built like a wrestler as opposed to a fat guy. There you go. And yeah, that's this event. Uh, it's a very easy event, so don't worry if you're a new player. This event shouldn't be too hard as long as you are paying attention to which, um, which uh, units you are bringing to... What am I looking for? Right here. Which units you're bringing to suppression quests, it's going to really depend on a lot of that. But again, I was able to beat this not reading Japanese, kind of just playing around, so I think it's totally possible. And the only thing that kind of stopped me at sometimes was not knowing which of the NPCs to use. And that was only because I didn't read Japanese, so I had no idea what was going on. But again, not a very hard event. Pretty much a very easy 4 star to get. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching it, especially if you made it all the way through. As always, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how you're feeling about the events. I'll wish you good luck for whenever the summons come, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.